looking at some other places. This morning, I am going to like a... I got these recently for my car. Next month before I start traveling, I actually have a friend or two who's going to be visiting me in LA. You know how people say they have a specific scent that is like your home environment? We as individuals cannot detect because that's our default, but other people coming into it can smell something different not necessarily bad but i feel like it's probably that way for cars too i don't know what my car smells like these miniature yankee candle beach theme i don't know i thought i'd give one a try before my friends come so we've got beach walk sun and sand and pink sands i couldn't tell you what sand is supposed to smell like so Choosing a random one, I suppose. We'll go for the blue one because that's not my stomach, so I'll use it first. my hair up messily in a claw clip and untucked this because it's getting wrinkled but i'm gonna make a pasta salad because i'm starving
forgot the salmon. Okay. No. As you can see, I've already started packing the new shipment of collect books. Today, my friend is actually coming over to help me pack them. I was thinking that I would not do a restock of these before my trip, but I think depending on how fast we pack these, there may or may not be a collect book restock coming very, very soon. I do have my new shipment of cereal mugs, but those, I think I need more materials and those take a little longer to pack than these. So I'm not gonna cut it close and I'm not even trying for the cereal mugs before my trip. But I think, I think this is a manageable amount we can get done. We're gonna grab lunch first. Like the great boss I am. It doesn't take a lot of mind power, but it takes a lot of willpower when you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So we need fuel up. Um, can I take a picture with you, please? Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. What's your name? Oh, my name is. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> this has become my favorite sandwich: avocado, lettuce, tempeh, tomato, and mayo. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We always do this. <laughs> I turn my AC. Oh my god. These are the cereal cups, <gasps> mostly. And then these are what we're going to pack. Oh my god. I didn't use okay. it. <laughs>
My friend is actually on her way over right now to help me again. The other day we finished wrapping everything and now we need to tie the ribbon and add the stickers. I will no longer be wrapping each of these individually like this. Understandably, it takes a lot of time and effort. It's not gonna be realistic or sustainable to continue doing it. I had a situation similar to this back when I first started making notepads and I wanted to make it all cute and fancy. And I was like, okay, okay girl, you need to be realistic about things. I decided to just wrap these until I ran out of the material. And then from now on, they're going to be packaged how they came. By the time this vlog is live, my shop will actually be closed. I wanted to give some time to myself to finish packing all the orders and to prepare for my travels that are coming very, very soon. And it'll be reopening probably at the end of September. I'm gonna restock the cereal cups when I get back. We shall see. <laughs> I didn't get that. Could you try again? No. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I recently got this new A5 binder sleeve because I need a place to store all my freaking stickers. I usually keep them in this container, but it's simply not efficient when it comes to looking for a particular sticker sheet. We have these sleeves of different sizes so I can fit different types of stickers in it and flip through them like a book. <laughs>
Not that bad. try coffee if they have it here.
Very, very belated update on the whole moving situation. The last time I talked about this, I think it was beginning of this year when I was looking at office spaces for my studio. Then I decided, no, I'm not gonna look for a separate office space right now. I'm actually going to look into waiting for my current apartment complex to give me a two bedroom space. That way I could still work from home and convert one of the bedrooms into my studio. I've been on the waiting list for almost a year. No one wants to move out of their two bedrooms here. I've been checking constantly, like calling them, emailing them. They said I'm at the top of the list, but no one's leaving. It's come to the point where I'm like, yeah, I cannot wait around any longer for this magical two bedroom that I have no date in sight for when my current apartment is being taken over by boxes and inventory. So I actually started looking at some other places that I can make an exclusive office space once again. But I cannot really look too seriously at the moment because because in less than two weeks, I'm going to be on a plane to Japan. I wanted to wait and find a place when I came back. You know, I didn't want to have to secure a place right now, pay the extra rent or whatever. Also, I'm just busy <laughs> trying to take care of everything, close up the shop, and do all that before my trip. So I know the situation looks kind of bad out there, but I'm dealing with it for now. I swear. Monica, you are going to get a separate space for your freaking shop before- I'm inclined to say before the year ends, but it's, it's just embarrassing that it's taking me this long. I literally started looking at the beginning of this year and got distracted with other things and time passed by. Good morning. Ooh. Ew. Oh, hi, y'all. Hi, y'all.